what's up i'm in the next part now i was speaking about how sorcery wears off why does a sorcery wear off even on a person that's not born again over time it is because the common grace of God hovers over the earth ubiquitously, first and foremost. Secondly, believers who are indwelt by the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, right? The believers who are born again, basically. We are prayerful and we pray over our countries. We pray over the lands that we live in. Ubiquitously in Jephelah, just covering random people we don't know with prayer. Random geographical locations with prayer. That's why churches get targeted by covens in the local area because they keep on messing up with coven work, right? We just dismantle spirits. Whether or not those spirits um, we have deliberately targeted them in a deliverance sermon or a deliverance uh, situation over one particular person. We don't have to be dealing with minor alone that walks into a church on some guys. I think I've got these random demons. Help me out. They're walking to a deliverance minister. Next thing she's like rolling around on the floor and vomiting a demon. Or sometimes people get exorcised by ubiquitous prayer. The common grace of God. Local church that prays. Believers that every so often like in their own private space with God. Praying in tongues. Going on your knees before going going to sleep at night praying for your country praying for your city praying for your town praying for your president praying for your tree you get my point your job colleagues when i was employed i used to take people to god in prayer that i would meet every day and whatever concerned me about them i'd be like okay i'm gonna tell, pray for them i'm gonna pray for them and i'll get on my knees pray for this guy who knows what in the world an effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth availeth much so if the person that i'm praying for when i'm a demon i am effectively casting them out on their behalf do you understand i'm the one here that is in fasting i'm the one here that is in prayer mode and so therefore I would, since there are no geographical restrictions as to who you can pray for in the spirit realm i then get to successfully cure a person that's 30 kilometers away epidori type establishment thing do you understand so that's why witchcraft over time wears off it wears off because if at all you live in an environment where gunums are running it's no one you are going to be dealing with somebody praying off your sorcery perpetually uh, but in a country like south africa that calls itself christian and has so many churches and has so many all night prayer sessions being held different times of the week all over the show uh, across the country you can therefore expect as a witch that literally do they decel by day depending on how close in proximity you are to Ison Delitan Dazayo and depending on what Christians generally just feel urged to pray about and also what the common grace of God is doing on the ground that your Gorobela is going to wear off so that girl that ended up being besotted with you shortly after rejecting you now all of a sudden she's into you she's gonna like snap out of stuff eh? she will twitch one day she will wake up in the middle of the night next to you and she will find you menacing she will wonder Gnega how in the world did I end up married to this fool? How in the world do I have this wedding ring on my finger? Oh my goodness, get off me. You are going to find people all of a sudden being disgusted with spouses they were literally head over heels in love with at the time that they started out with them. So maintenance, the maintenance work of a person. But you never stop. You never stop. You have to keep going back to the drawing board because the common grace of God and Christian prayer keeps on sweeping house, cleaning house, cleaning house in your countries, in your geographical locations, your villages, your cities. That is why it's going to be such a tumultuous, terrible time after the Lord raptures the church for the restrainer, hallelujah, amen, who is the Holy Spirit who is indwelt, who indwells us as believers will be taken out the way. The Holy Spirit will of course still be hovering around the earth convicting man of sin, but teen of the earth those of us who pray for the planet we are going to be out of the way and so all of a sudden witchcraft is going to run rampant whatever it is that we are thwarting and restraining whatever we are thwarting and restraining is going to no longer be thwarted and restrained so there will be no end as to what people can do guzo tagatwa left right and center and witchcraft is going to have staying power in the lives of people so you better be grateful for believers even though you persecute them you literally better be grateful for us because we are like the domestic workers in your houses the vacuum cleaners we are always cleaning your homes and you don't even know it you don't even know it anyway right on uh, along plus also on top of that there are angels of god that god charges concerning lost souls that will ultimately turn to him so there's so much protection on earth right now of people and when that restrainer gets lifted and god basically lets everything run loose, loose and rampant you are going to see the worst time a perilous time such as has never been seen in the history of the human race no nor ever shall be it's gonna be bad anywho anyhow in any right way okay as we are learning back then to uh, this this guy that first gets a job using witchcraft and then next thing after Lom Seben's Wake, they, they develop a thirst and a hunger for acquiring ill-gotten gain style vibes 
ignoring God's word. Thinks. They then will get a wife using it, the tender using it, wada wada. Uh, this witchcraft wears off. Uh, now, with the case of the tender, you award now a, a tender to somebody who doesn't actually have the skill to do this project. What What is the result of that, guys? A failed project. You are dealing with slippery fingers. You're dealing with a lack of delivery. You are dealing with substandard delivery. You are dealing with um, mediocrity. You are dealing with a lack of excellence, like uh, a final product, you know, unexpected consequences, basically, eventually become of those who consult in this way. If you constantly are cheating your way to the top, you are not gaining all the skills that you need in order to be successful in the new level that you are getting to. And so therefore, you're going to be incompetent in this ill-acquired new position, meaning that the organization you work for is going to flounder if it's made up of a whole bunch of Abantu Abatagatile to get ahead, meaning that your marriage is going to fail if you entered into it using the Gorobela Lidi whatnot. Meaning, you get my point. You get my point. So that's why in South Africa, there was such a horrible, how horrible, horrific, since the country is so besotted, enamored, beside itself with adoration for witchcraft, that's why there's such a high level of gender-based violence. That is why it is the worst country to live in as a female in the world. That is why there is such a high suicide rate. It is because of the lack of prosperity, lack of success in a truly true success, good success, which God gives to, by the way, those who uh, fear him. Do you understand? He gives us good success. That is why good success is absent in these marriages that are in into with like satanic rituals and also companies that are started with satanic rituals as a tender premier, that keeps on winning our uh, uh, tenders because of your witchcraft you are going to ill deliver ill deliver look at south africa my goodness our roads our our roads the the private sector that has been employed by the public sector which is the government to build our, our roads are giving the tender premier to corrupt uh, pro, uh contracts and so there are potholes all over the show forming now like like literally across the land you are dealing with buildings that are de bad, getting debilitated fast even though it's only five years old like that is what is going on you have got somebody with bad dexterity their hands don't do much they have not trained themselves up in the craft and so therefore when they are given a job in this whatever craft it is that it is they do a substandard job that's why music is so whack these days these artists that go and contract themselves over to the devil anything for money but they can't sing but they can't like uh, you know uh, deliver a concert a show only like them look at them just look at the music industry on its own like music of the 70s 80s 90s in comparison to now it's like ugh, what is being done here what is being delivered i don't even know what trap is because rap was okay on its own you get my point the quality of delivery is lackluster these days because people no longer find it necessary to cultivate skills and talents in order to move to the next level and so the quality the general quality of of um things in jefela that are being built on the earth is is lower the general quality is lower so the forcible marriages of people to people using corobelas and what have you hence 50 percent divorce rate hence abuse hence gender-based violence hence timpama in marriages hence so much job dissatisfaction due to the fact that you are carrying all the weight m7 zini because your colleague aga seven he's all talking no action and you don't know why he's a senior manager while you're struggling to get a promotion he utwele but you are working by the sweat of your brow and in working by the sweat of the brow you are therefore carrying a lazy team member a lazy boss you are carrying a lazy colleague or tagatile but what becomes then of the lazy let's move on to the next part